So, yeah. we arrive at the Richard Marsland Studios in South Melbourne to do the Saturday Rub, and Brian Taylor has walked in. Yep. In fact, Bill, yes. fair to say swaggered in. He swaggered. And said, you better have your questions ready for Steph Curry. So, Bristol. Stephen Curry. Look, I'm, I'm telling <laughs> you today, Bill, one of the great college superstars of the game. More than that, probably. Well, not college. In, yeah. in NBA. Well, I'm like just going multiple through this yeah, in yeah, chronological yes. order, Damo. Right, oh, no. Oh, then skip his uh, college career. NBA champion, mm. uh, oh. ring holder as oh. well, as a result of his NBA. This, the, the greatest shooter ever. Uh, I, I think, and easily probably one of the greatest international players that's ever roamed the world. So well. we've got him on. We've, Steph Curry. We have got this. This is going to be unbelievable. Who got him? You got him. College superstar. And we don't care about it. holder. Don't worry about it. college NBA player. Brian, you've got him on today. Listen, I'm not answering any more questions. <laughs> Hold your excitement and we will be off and running you haven't got around about twelve thirty-five today. You haven't got with the actor Stephen Curry. Have just you? have your questions ready, Stephen. Just have Steph your questions, Curry. I, I'm I'm reading enough into what Bristol didn't say just yeah. then. Yeah, so am I. To think there might be <laughs> yeah. a Swifty about to be pulled. <laughs> Steph Curry. What time? The, the re- 12.35. 12.35. The referencing right. Jim to the college career. That's has, it. Yes. Has, has, is a clue oh, there somewhere. Re- repeated referencing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, he was a... Co- Who do you play for in this college? This guy, absolute college superstar. Who? Who's college? <laughs> I don't know. Seton Hall. Oh, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> hey, uh, Adam Simpson's going to join us shortly. Love Simo. Of course, Premiership coach of the West Coast Eagles. Multiple premierships as a player with North. Uh, we also get into Bill's quiz. Yes, please. Uh, we've got some big news. And then Dean Brogan is going to talk to us about the 04 grand final Port Adelaide beating Brisbane and one of the great one-on-one blues that really wasn't a blue. Oh. Yeah, can't wait. He's a ripping fella, Dean Brogan. Fella. He's, He's a, a really, really good guy. He's and... got a jaw you couldn't miss. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? Alistair Lynch. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. I know I didn't chime in there before because I was just sort of doing something else, but uh, you, oh. you'd better have Steph Curry today. Oh. NBL player. We just discussed that, Doug. Yeah. Yeah, NBL. I, know. I wasn't... I was, NBL, I was, did you I was, say? As you can NBL. see, they male's busy. No, uh, um, We're on air, Doug. Oh, yeah. Dean Brogan. The chin. Yeah, well, yes. people can't see that I was on air. You can. We've been on air for six minutes. Yeah. And you yeah. want to talk about something want, we talked about three, three, three minutes, minutes ago. Oh, I, minutes. I won't go into that subject again. Okay, I've you better have Steph Curry. We've just done that, Doug. Jim, something else yes. back today. It's been been missing yes. about four years, I reckon. What? Football. The glass eye. Oh, oh. oh it's, no. It's making You're spuds it glass eye. It's being brought out of hibernation. So something's that boring. Yep. <laughs> Yep. But you've brought the glass eye back. And I think of all the people in this room today, oh, no. it's going to tickle your fancies most, Jim. Fair income. Yeah, I, I think you'll eye. launch into the, eye. into the person who is talking in glass eye manner. Oh, and we're oh, going to speak yeah. to Travis Old in just a sec, by the way, the AFL's Chief Financial Officer and General Manager of Clubs and Broadcasting. And there's plenty to talk to him about, Damo, because after... My man, Happy Dan, old Forey, he come good. Finally then. came good he after did. making a real ass of himself for a long time. Did he really come good, but he yeah, came, yeah, well, yeah. He, from our point of view, he did because we're of, playing footy yeah, sort of on the eleventh. You caught him four eyes this time last week. Well, he needed to lift. Yeah. So the the order of events uh, as they unfold now, BT and guys, is uh, as of Monday, players allowed back in club facilities. The following Monday, Monday week, competitive training can resume, and the AFL struck an arrangement now with all clubs for that to happen so that's uh, may 25 mm-hmm. all clubs can competitively train and then thursday june 11 which was also your suggestions like this time last week uh, bt and uh, a new gym about the actual return of matches we're yet to know what game that will be but it's thursday june 11 match return all right so what we saw with uh, our and, man and, and that'll be richmond collingwood yeah do you, do you believe that would be the case i think so yeah. yeah we'll ask travis alden a few moments all right good um our man uh, happy dan of course if, if it was a a race of the premiers and chief medical people happy was a long long way yeah. back in fact he was stephen bradbury wasn't he <laughs> he was miles back yeah but then but we saw the, the bloke from wa completely yeah. oh, fall yeah. over what in the most ridiculous <laughs> fashion ever Brain. Pooey is Mark McGowan. No yeah. idea what he's on about. And then the chief medical officer from Adelaide, Adelaide. fell over <laughs> in sympathy of him and then through came so, Happy. So what we'll do, Mr. Perk, is we'll bring all 10 teams <laughs> what out hell? of Victoria <laughs> to your state and they've all got a quarantine and carry- 14 days. Are you, 14 days, are, yep. are, are you kidding me, Mr. Perth? Yeah. Yeah. Gee, he had a crack. He had a crack at it. He's made himself look but, dumb already. But then the yeah. thing about it, Damo, is when he did make himself look completely stupid and he painted himself right into a corner. Yeah, he, then, down. he then blamed 
Melbourne AFL bias yeah. <laughs> for the reason why his argument looked that stupid.